everybody, it's Monday already. I hope you've had a fantastic bank holiday weekend and have had a chance to spend lots of time with your families at home um, and raring to go for another week on our virtual learning. So today we're going to be looking at the words AM and PM and how we use those in maths, especially when looking at the time. So AM versus PM. So AM, if you have a look at the picture, is showing that AM is in the morning. So it's early from, from midnight. So as soon as it hits midnight, when the day ends and a new day begins, as soon as it hits a new day from midnight onwards, it is a what we call AM. So it's after midnight and it's in the morning all the way up till we get to lunchtime. Then when it hits lunchtime at 12 o'clock, it then becomes PM. So it's past midday. We'd say that the middle of the day is midday because it's midway through the day. So this would include all the time from 12 o'clock from it starting at lunchtime all the way into the afternoon, all the way into the evening until it gets to midnight. So until the end of the day finishes and the new day begins. And obviously it is a continuous cycle. When the day starts, it starts with a.m. Halfway through the day, it changes to p.m. and it finishes off um, p.m. before restarting as a.m. again. OK, so as I've just said there, midnight is when the day begins. So as soon as you go to sleep, that does not mean that it's a new day. It means that when you're asleep, as soon as it hits midnight, which is 12 o'clock in the evening, this is when a new day begins and it restarts the day. So all the way up to midday, up to 12 o'clock lunchtime is a.m. Then on at lunchtime when it hits 12 o'clock all the way then till midnight till you've gone to sleep and you're fast asleep when it hits midnight that is what we call pm okay so the first activity i'd like you to have a go at doing is i'd like you to have a go at drawing am and pm and drawing it at, like i've done using two separate boxes and i'd like you to write different things that you do when it is am so either in the morning or when you when you're fast asleep um in the morning all the way up to lunchtime so that could be things like having your breakfast brushing your teeth coming to school what do we do at school so those are the type of ideas you could put for those and pm being anything after lunchtime so you could say lunchtime could be in your pm you could do everything all the way up till you go into sleep and then it becoming midnight so it could be that you say um school finishes you go home and um, you have tea you have uh, you go out and play so Give me lots of ideas of what you understand am means morning and pm is the afternoon into the evening okay so when we put the times into order obviously we understand the words earliest or early and latest so obviously if it's earliest it means it's the towards the start of the day and if it's later it's towards the end of the day so if we were to put the following times in order the top four um times at the top we're obviously using digital clocks here now we've done work over the last couple of days on digital so you should have a good idea of what the actual numbers represent so remember just a recap the number on the left is the hour and the number on the right is how many minutes has gone past that hour so for example the first one six say 618 this tells you that it it's 18 minutes past six so when we look at the times, the first thing we need to have a look at in order to order them is we need to have a look to see whether they are AM or PM. Because if we're looking for the earliest, which ones do you think you're going to look at? Do you think you're going to look at AM or do you think you're going to look at PM? Well done, we are. We're going to look at AM because obviously that comes first. A way you could also remember it is A is the start of the alphabet and P is a lot further down the alphabet. So A is the earliest. So we're going to obviously look so we can ignore all the all the other times that you've got PM. We just want to focus on the AM ones at the moment. So there is only one AM time. So obviously our earliest time is going to be 7.59 AM. Now, when we look at PM, we obviously want to have a look at our earliest time. So even though it is PM, we still want to see which hour is the smallest hour. So if we have a look, we have 6.18 10 11 and 11 18 which one do you think is going to be the next earliest time 
Well done. I am I'm glad to see that some of you have caught up on my marvellous mistake. I've thrown in a marvellous mistake there to see if anybody thought found out what I had done wrong or if anybody had noticed it to see because other than I didn't want you to just copy what I'd put I've actually put a mistake there so well done Matt I've said the next earliest time is 11 18 p.m but it's not 11 18 p.m which time is it which is the next earliest time well done it is 6 18 because 6 is a smaller number than 11 so this would come first so actually it would be 6 18 p.m would be my next time what would come after 6 18 then well done if you said 10 11 or 11 minutes past 10 because again the hour 10 is smaller than the hour 11 so when we that would be my next time and so finally, the latest time that I would put would be 11.18 p.m. Have a look on the next slide and I'll show you the correct order and see if you also got the same with that. So you can now see from looking at the, um, the answers on here, you can now see the correct order of 7.59 a.m. because a.m. is first, 6.18 p.m. because it's p.m. so we're now into the p.m. ones and six is the smallest hour. 10 11 p.m and 12 um, and 11 18 p.m so well done if you have spotted that mistake okay sometimes though it doesn't quite work because if we have a look at the times that i have got here i have got 12 13 a.m and i have got 7 59 a.m but if we remember when it gets to midnight at 12 o'clock it becomes morning so actually 12 13 is our earliest time because it has gone 13 minutes past midnight and that is when the new day starts so that will be our earliest time so even though we do look for the smallest hour we sometimes have to make sure that we have actually looked to see because when it is if the hour is at 12 we have to make sure to see where we think this will go so 12 13 a.m would be our earliest time then we will also then look at the other a.m time slots so the other only other one i have got is 7 59 so obviously that's going to be my next time now our third time which is our next earliest we obviously need to look at our pms but again remember sometimes the rule doesn't always work it's not always the smallest hour because when it hits um to change to pm remember it changes to pm at 12 o'clock so 12 pm is actually the earliest time when it gets to pm as this is when the time changes from am to pm so obviously here our 12 11 or 11 minutes past 12 is going to be our next earliest time slot because it is at lunch time it's 11 minutes past 12 and finally 11 18 p.m is going to be our, our latest slot because this is just before it hits midnight when it turns back to a.m one other thing i'd like to add is that if for example you have two numbers that you are comparing that have the same hour what do you think you're going to have to do then so the question that I've just asked, what if they have the same hour? So again, the first thing we need to do if we're going to autumn, the first thing we need to do is we need to look whether it is a.m. or whether it is p.m. Now, as they are both a.m., we both know that both of these times are in the morning. So the next thing we need to do is look at the hour. But as we can see, they are both the same hour. So my question was, what happens if they are both in the morning and they have both got the same hour? If you said that you would then look at the minutes, you are correct. So we need to look to see which is the earliest minute. So we can either read the minutes. So we've got 15 minutes past and we have 18 minutes past. And the smallest number would obviously be the earlier time. Another way you might want to do it is if we look at our tens to see what number is in our tens column. This could also give us a clue because if one number is smaller than the other, this would be the earlier time. 
However, because they have both got a one in their tens column, we now will need to look into our ones column to see which number is the smallest number. So I can now see that my answer is going to be that 715 is earlier than 718 because it is a smaller number. So this will be my earliest time and 718 would be the later time. So what I'd like you to have a go at doing now, I've attached on here a website link for you to be able to access um, the online resource that I showed you yesterday. Here you can have a go at practicing, looking at deciding what time it is, whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the evening, and have a go at working it through practically that way. Once you feel like you really understand it, you can then go on to the activities which I've attached to Seesaw for you to have a go at doing. These are the activities. So you've got some questions where you need to say where um, activities happen. You've got some questions which are looking at where, which is the earliest, which is the latest. Can you order the times? So have a go at those. I will then be going through the answers on this link. So if you want to come back and have a look and we can talk through the answers, see if you've got them right. And then I'd love to see everything on Seesaw if you've got the chance to do that. So obviously we're going to go through the answers now and um, check yours off, give it a tick if you've got it right. So sort the events into the time of day that they might happen. So sunrise um, is obviously in the morning, breakfast club in the morning, going to school in the morning, eating breakfast, alarm going off to wake up in the morning. So that's everything that happens then. And in the afternoon, school play rehearsal, uh, gymnastics practice, go home from school, after school club, football match, um, lunch, so they're all the things that would obviously fit into um, the afternoon session. Number two, one of the times is when Dexter starts school on one of the time. Which do you think it is? Tick your answer. Obviously, it's going to be a.m. because that's in the morning, whereas p.m. is in the afternoon. One of the times, um, one of the times is when Rosie goes to bed. What do you think? Well. AM is obviously morning, PM is obviously night time, so it would be the 7.30 PM or half past seven. Tick the earliest uh, time in each set. So again, you need to look for your AM first of all. Um, then you need to look at your hours, which hours your earliest hours. So that was 6.18 AM. Again, for the second one, look to see um, if it's AM or PM, if it's all PMs look for the earliest time, which is 6.18 p.m. Then um, for number C, again, look at the AMs and the PMs. Look for the earliest AM time, um, as obviously this is the earliest. And then for D, again, look at AM and PMs. Um, look for the smallest um, earliest time. Now, remember, 12 a.m. is actually uh, midnight when the next day starts, so it will be 12.13. OK, for this one, tick the latest time. So when it's the latest. So again, look, is it, are they all AMs? If they are, look for the latest hour, which will be 10, uh, 11 minutes past 10 AM. Uh, for number B, we want to look at they're all PM. So we want the latest time and uh, the latest hour, which is 10, 11. For, for C, look at the AM and PMs. Obviously, if it's the latest time, we're going to want to look in the afternoon into the evening. So we need to look at the PMs and that would be 10, uh, 11 minutes past 10. And finally, for D, we want the latest. So we need to look at the PMs and we need to have a look at the latest time. Now, remember, 12, uh, 11 minutes past 12 or 12, 11 p.m. Remember, that's actually lunchtime because that's when p.m. starts at 12 um, at lunchtime. So do you agree with Annie? Annie says 12, 15 p.m. is later than 4 p.m. because 12 is greater than 4. Well, yes, 12 is greater than 4. However, when we're talking about time, 12, 15 is earlier because the 12 is lunchtime rather than um, at midnight, which will be a.m. Write the times in order from the earliest to latest. Use your AM ones first and then use your PM ones. Look at your AM. You can see that 7 is smaller than 10, so your first time is 7.15 a.m. Your second time, 10.12 uh, 10, a.m. Then look at your PMs. See that 10.04 is earlier than 12 
sorry, 12.10 p.m. is earlier than 10.04. The second one, again, look at the AMs. So the AMs, we've got one, uh, 11 minutes past 1 AM, because that's really early in the morning. Then we've got 8.19 AM. Then we've got 12.41 PM and 6.51 PM. Show this time on both clocks. It is half past nine in the morning. So your minute hand should be at the six on the analog clock and your hour hand should be halfway between the nine and the 10 because it's half past nine. To write it on a digital, we would write the hour first. That will be it's past nine. So we'll write nine. Then we know that if it is half past, we know that there are 30 minutes in half an hour. So it will be 9.30. And if it's in the morning, you'll write a.m. Tom gets to the cinema at this time, so he gets this in the evening. So if we have a look at the clock, we can see that it says quarter to seven on the analog clock. So that's the first thing you need to do is say what time it is. Here are the film times. Which should Tom go to? Well, if he can, if he's there for quarter to seven, he's not going to be able to watch ones which are earlier than quarter to seven. So ones, for example, 9 a.m. because that's in the morning. Uh, 12.15 p.m. because that's at lunchtime, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. is already passed, 6.30 he's just missed that because it's quarter to seven and 7.15 he would be able to make this one as he's there at quarter to seven and he would also be able to make the nine o'clock film as well. However, the nine o'clock film he would have to wait a little bit of time for it.